Today, I'm gonna show you guys all the good tips and tricks on most of the maps in Knockout. If you master all of these, you should be able to win almost every game of Knockout in Fall Guys. This video is gonna be a little bit different style than my usual videos because my webcam is not gonna be in it, except for this intro. But these tips will be useful to not only new players or casual players, but also to competitive and dedicated players. Because there's a lot of specific tricks in this video that you might not know about. All right, so starting off, we got Heat and Balance. Now, this is definitely one of the more simple creative race maps. The start is very, very simple. You pretty much just walk in a straight line. You could do some jumps to get some momentum off of the slopes. And then at the boxes, literally just as you would expect, just jump across them. Um, again, just jump on the slopes. And then at this part, this is where the main skip of the level is. You want to jump on the slope and then go straight to the next rock. That's a pretty big skip because a lot of other people will just go for the disc and you'll get ahead of most people. Now, I usually just go through the middle on the hex tiles. However, there's a lot of people you might want to take the boxes, um, but if you're in the lead, definitely go through the middle. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for that map. All right, this is where it gets interesting. We got dual climb. Now, I'm going to show two different variations of how to play this map. This is the first one. This is the usual path that I take. It's not too difficult, but yeah, see it jumped across that fence there, jump on that yellow bounce, you can go straight to the conveyors, then jump on the punchy glove, then you could go across the fence, it's a little bit faster, and then at this part, uh, you want to just jump up on top of the platform from there, you don't actually have to dive, but I did dive there for some reason, then go across the fence, and then jump on these pegs, you just go straight up to the top, um, and then walk across the fence, now there is a skip here, but we're not going to do that for this variation, just take up the fan, pretty easy. Um, and then once you get to this part, you're going to go straight down to that yellow bouncer. Literally just bounce on it and then you can grab up on that platform. You're already at the end. Watch out for the thick bonkus. Be patient if you need to. And there we go. Simple as that. So here's the second variation. You jump off of this yellow bouncer at the start straight onto the conveyor. And then you jump onto this little purple platform at the checkpoint. That's slightly faster than going on the fence. And again, this is the second version of the run and it's a little bit harder. So this might not be as consistent. It is a lot tougher to do. Uh, same skip there. You just jump on the pegs. But it does get a little bit different up here. So this is the skip I was talking about at this part. You basically jump off of that bollard onto those pegs. This might actually be slower than the fan. And then this right here is the hardest skip. You take that axe all the way to the end. Do the axe skip. That is slightly faster than going for the yellow bouncer. All right, next up we got Virtual Vista, Vista. Can someone let me know in the comments if it's Vista or Vista because I still don't know. But this map is actually very, very straightforward. You just jump on this disc and the bar is too high, so it's not going to hit you. You're just going to go under it. Then you take this lily pad then you can go on to the slime slide. Very simple. They added these little platforms, which it's not going to slow you down that much. You just go down to the slime slide, dive down, take the lily pad. You can just dive straight past that turntable. Now there is a big hexagon there, but it's just going to open if you touch it. And then go across on the bouncer, the big bollards, and then just dive onto the puncher, and boom, you're at the end. Pretty quick map. All right, next up we got Jukebox. Now this one is pretty interesting, because there's actually two ways that you can play this map. This is the normal way. So you pretty much just go across the discs. I know there are bars here, but I'm going to be honest, it's not worth trying to go for bar skips, because the discs turn you in the opposite direction. And honestly, bar skips are just, like, not feasible. Unless you're an insanely cracked pro player, you're only going to get those bar skips, like, 1% of the time if you try to go for them. They're not very good. So at this part, you just dive on the slime and then dive onto the lily pad. Make sure you dive on the lily as quick as you can, because you might miss it sometimes. Go on this middle boom blaster, then you just go through the center here. Now, get ready, though, because the second version of this map is pretty interesting. I think I'm the first person to find it out. But anyway, this is the end of the first version of this map. Just dive straight to the finish. Easy. Okay, now here's the second version of how you can do it. Go on the fence and then grab the flag. Then literally just go on the outside and you can walk across the entire map. You can literally just skip the entire map. I call this the introvert method on Jukebox for players that don't want to be around other people. I don't know. I don't think this is faster. Honestly, this is probably slightly slower than going normally. But you do get to just kind of do your own thing and play on your own. Uh, you won't get body blocked by people or get grabbed. This is just kind of a way that you can go on your own path. Because I highly doubt anyone else is going to do this with you. Unless you come across another player that saw this video. I don't know. 
But then at the end, it's the exact same. Just dive in the lily pad and then uh, take the boom blaster, the one in the center. I think the boom blaster in the center is always going to be faster. So if you could take it, I always would. And then same thing for the ending. It's literally the exact same. All right, next up, we got space fall. Now, this one is really fun for speed running. You can go really quick. So at the start, obviously jump dive on the lily pad and take use of these little mini conveyor belts. Then once you get to this part, you want to get a double speed boost, meaning going through it twice. Take the hammer and look how fast you go. When you get to this part, you also want to get a little hit from that bar to give you a bit of a speed boost. Go down the slime slide. Do not dive on the first lily pad there, but then dive on the rest. If you dive on that first lily pad, you'll have too much momentum and you'll mess it up. And then at this part, it's pretty straightforward. Just go down the slime slide and then you can just dive all the way to the finish. Easy, very quick map. All right, next up we got Hoverboard Heroes. Now this is a really old map, it's been around forever, but ever since the new Fall Guys update, there is one new thing you can do at the ending here. Watch this. If you coyote jump, time it perfectly, you can jump straight to the finish line and qualify without even taking the flippers. All right, so next up we got Lake in the Mountains. Now this is an extremely easy level. It's so easy to survive. All you have to do is just stay on the platform that I'm on right now. Do not go on the outside yellow platform because if you do that, that's where you're vulnerable and stuff like this can happen. So yeah, literally as long as you just stay in the center of the map, nothing can happen. Even if a blast ball or rhino hits you, you can easily recover. Now this next tip kind of contradicts my last one, but if you're feeling dangerous, you can go on the outside platform to get a rhino and you can do this where you throw the rhino at the blue pillar and then ha have the rhino hit you and then you can launch yourself on top of that little red sign. Now it's really difficult to do. As you can see, it literally took me multiple attempts before I successfully did it. But if you get up there, I mean, you're safe. Literally no one can kill you if you're standing up there. Next up, we got Jump Club. And just like Hoverboard Heroes, this map has literally been out forever. But since the new Fall Forever update, there is one new cool thing you can do. If someone is requesting a piggyback, you can pick them up and drop them in the center as a grief. It's really toxic, but I find it really funny a lot of the time. So next up, we got Fall Mountain, and this is another really OG map, but it got changed a lot in the Fall Forever update. There's new strats you can do. So obviously, this is the normal strat. If there's a big Yidus, you just take it normally, get hit, and then you land on the blue platform and take the crown. However, there is a new strategy that you can do if you don't have the Big Yidus variation, and it's honestly almost just as fast as if there was a Big Yidus. So basically what you want to do is when you get to the ending, jump dive onto this golden pillar. And then if you do that, it will ragdoll you, but it doesn't really matter because you get a boost anyway. And then you could just walk in a straight line across that purple platform and make it straight to the crown and get the win. Now this third new strat in Fall Mountain is insanely difficult to pull off that I couldn't even do it myself. I had to get a clip from someone else. But if you time it just right by standing under the big Yidus, you can get the Yidus to launch you without ragdolling you. And it can take you straight to the crown. So next up, we got Trampillas Tramposas. And there's a really cool trick on this map that basically makes you invincible. This is definitely something you can do in duos because it requires two people. So basically what you want to do is one person has to throw one of those mini rhinos at another player. And then that player has to jump right as the rhino hits him. And then he can get sent all the way to that big rhino out in the slime. And once you get there, you basically land on his nose. And after that, you can just climb on top of him and stand on his butt for the rest of the game. This rhino is a complete safe spot. There is literally no way for someone to kill you when you're here. It is extremely overpowered. So if you're playing duos and you get this map, you can pretty much solidify yourself a win. Now, I feel like this might get patched, but I mean, I guess take use of it while it's still a thing and last but not least we have winter games and this is one of my favorite of the new levels to speed run because there's a really really overpowered skip on this so you basically at this part it's pretty simple you just dive slide on the slime slides nothing too complicated take that lily pad right there and then when you get to the speed boost take it twice get double speed and then you want to dive on both these two lily pads you don't need this speed boost right here you don't really need it jump up on that fence and then you can just jump straight to the slime slide over there. That is a massive skip, by the way. Then once you get to this part, just take the Yidus and you're already at the end. Easy peasy.